Yo, what is going on YouTube and welcome back to a new video on F122. Today we are starting our first kind of tutorial or comparison series, which we've already had on F1 2021. But this year we are going to check on F1 2022 or F122. And we are going to check out if ABS is faster than no ABS. So first of all, we are going to set lap times with the same setup. Everything exactly the same. Without ABS, because that's how we usually drive an F1 car. And how also I'm driving, because we're not allowed to run assists in F1 22 esports or in general F1 esports. And then we're going to compare with ABS on. And we're going to drive on Canada today, because I think Canada is actually a good track. We are going to use the preset 4, and we are going to put it to 50 off, uh, fifty brake bias. Because... That's the best way to run it, anyways, on the game. I have to make it a bit more quiet. Alright, there we go. So I will probably go for around three laps on each set and compare and tell you what I notice. So of course, with ABS off, we need to make sure we tray break into the corners. Otherwise, you're just gonna lock up I will also demonstrate that to you, probably during my lap, even not intentional. For example, the hairpin is really easy to mess up your braking. It's actually fairly easy this year to not lock up anymore, compared to F1 2021 at least. But you can still lock up. So let's see, are we gonna lock up in the hairpin on our first lap? I think that was a small lockup. Nothing too crazy. But I think with the ABS, the thing is with ABS, you can just break later and harder at all times. Oh. Oh god, Wall of Champions, Wall of the TV. What are we doing at 10.3? I actually don't know. Oh. If the preset 4 is the best, there was an invalidation. There would also be an invalidation. But we are just gonna compare this setup, this these lap times, with no ABS. Um, thing is. If you run no ABS, even tiny micro lockups will make you understeer all the time and with that affect your lap time. Whilst with ABS on, you will never have any micro lockups. So you will never have any trouble, you will always have better tire wear because lockups also cost you tire wear in a race situation, even in quality. But especially when you're racing a full race distance. I'm still trying to get a valid lap in. Canada is the worst track on the game, or one of the worst tracks. I don't know why I picked this track as a reference, just because it was the recent GP. I'm so stupid. But well, now we are here. Let's just get it done. That was decent. Ooh, that short shift into fifth. OP. Okay, that fourth short shift was really bad. Let's please make it through the chicane so we can move on. Power comparison with ABS on. Okay, you know what? It was a bad chicane. We had a small lockup. But we're taking it. We're taking it. We're taking it. We're taking it. 
Um, a 9.8, yeah. Okay. Let's see how this is looking like with ABS turned on. So first of all, of course, going to the assists and then, where is it? Anti-lock brakes turned on. So what ABS is doing, it is making you avoid to lock up at any time. So you cannot lock up anymore. And by this, usually it should be faster. In previous years, it was a really overpowered assist. Like you were definitely always faster with ABS on. Especially also with these cars, you're recovering ERS while it's braking. So the longer you can brake and hold the brakes, the more ERS you will recover. And the later you can brake, the more energy you will recover because of the power, usually. So this was always broken and it gained you insane amount of lap time if you perfect it. Like it's really odd to get used to, but you can already see first corner we are immediately improving and I'm not even focusing that hard. Okay, here I messed up. Let's just restart and focus a little bit. But I think within three laps we should be able to probably uh, beat our lap. Honestly, it's a big change to accept you don't need to really tray brake anymore. You can just hold the brakes forever and you're not locking up. Would be really interesting now to see the hairpin with it because we won't be able to lock up to be honest that was surprising because we had the brakes really long we would have locked up normally and we didn't gain much time or any at all. Of course here we gained time, but that was because we messed up the chicane. And actually we, we messed it up because of a lockup. I, like, I don't know how you switch your brain to ABS driving, but I can feel, I would say, at least on this track, ABS is not as overpowered anymore as the years before, but it is still faster. Let's see, maybe we can improve the happen. Not a lot, that's really surprising because I definitely messed up on the hairpin on our no ABS run and we barely improved or just held the delta. Yeah, whatever, we are gonna count that. So it's it's not a big improvement. The main thing that we like made sure is that we nailed the chicane a bit more than on our no ABS run. And the chicane is always a time gainer. So I would say, by the looks of it, the ABS at the moment is still faster, yeah. Running ABS on is faster than no ABS. But it is definitely way less overpowered than in recent years. That's for sure. Let's give this one more go. One more focus go. To see if I can improve big time or not. But I don't think there's much more time to gain. Right now. Ok, 
Okay, damn, I improved a lot right now. I messed that up a bit. No matter how late I try to break, the ABS doesn't really help much in that corner. Maybe it's too much breaking. Maybe you don't even need to break that much. It's still faster though. So, in conclusion, the ABS is still overpowered, yes. And it might be track specific. On this track, you're probably not locking up as much. In recent years, you did. Like in F1 2021, for example, in the hairpin. In a couple of corners, locking up was fairly easy. We also had micro lockups every now and then. On the no ABS runs. And of course, we improved also our driving a bit. But the ABS didn't seem as overpowered. It might actually just be track specific. Maybe on Monaco ABS is gonna be completely broken. I think on this track you might be gaining one, two and a halfs and up to three tenths maybe maximum if you really perfect it with the, no, uh, with the ABS driving compared to no ABS. But it is really track specific. On tracks where you barely lock up, it won't make a difference if you run ABS. It's mainly then a thing about tire wear. But you gain a lot of, well, positives from having it on when you're racing because you have less tire wear from no lockups. And uh, you will also be able to brake harder and later so you recover more ERS usually. Maybe it doesn't work like that and you actually have less ERS recovery because you can brake later and less because of that so yeah I don't know guys what is your opinion on that you can still see ABS is still faster definitely it's maybe not as overpowered as in recent years but it's still faster what is your opinion on it leave it down in the comments below and I hope you found this video helpful I will also make a video on how to turn on uh, turn off ABS and learn driving without it a video on that in the near future uh, if you want to see that, hit the subscribe button, also the bell, so you won't miss it when it goes live. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. You're Marcel. Peace.